Hello everybody, this is V Game Master here, and we are gonna go to another video here. So today our two and four dolphins, we are not looking good as dolphins. We've also gotten a threat by the coach. And most people would be like, no, you didn't. We did. Because, I mean, you can't get that in that game. But we cannot, if we lose this game, we have, we cannot lose much more. We were told by the coaching staff that we, because we remember, this is a one-year contract deal that they can extend. Now in the game it's five, but I'm, a, I'm making it a one-year con contract deal. So they have to get this done and over with. In five, this is the fifth year now of the contract. I don't know fifth year, but the first year. So, they got they got to extend it. So we have to prove it to them that we should extend it. Like, the Chargers, they did, we did, we proved it well to them. We demanded the release. Because we did not like the Chargers as much as I thought I would. They did good, phenomenal, they were phenomenal, but... Uh, it's just their offensive line had problems. Just like this offensive line also has problems. A lot of offensive lines have problems. But, so now, we're going to go in Gillette Stadium today against New England. So, we're hoping to play good. The goal is to win, but sometimes we won't. And, well, it really is a must for us right now. And... Oh my goodness, we started with a pick six. Oh, that's an amazing start in this game already if you were the Dolphins. Brady threw a pick already to start up, and we throw it to Gibson for four yards. Nice, amazing, beautiful start. Beautiful game. I spoke with Coach Joe Philbin this week. His guys came through a win in their last game, but he said... We lost! Lamar Miller with a run for a yard. Jared Wright down in the post. And oh my goodness, that was very close to being intercepted. I feel like it should have potentially it should have been intercepted. And we're gonna punt it. We are going to punt this ball. And you know me and how against punts, well not against it, but like how much punts I don't punt. But this is a team that I we need to win against, so we need to be smart. And Julian Edelman down to the 23 yard line. He didn't start his day, he's already started it, he's already thrown a pick six. Hoping to get a better day today. So, it. With this day, he's not doing very good against the Dolphins, which is interesting because how often is he not good against the Dolphins? It's very rare. And Lamar Miller with another carry for three yards. I want to take a shot. This is... And sacked. Shot play did not work very well, so we have to take another shot. Caught Wallace down to the 33 yard line. And we're get, we're moving the ball. And that's one thing I think is a great thing to see. Is we're moving the ball the ball against these Patriots team, so it's working quite well. We got the ball, another a two yard gain. And one thing that we have been struggling with is running the ball. We don't run the ball enough. So we're hoping that we can run the ball a lot more. Keller, catch, third down, two yards. Good job that time by the quarterback. Throw the short pass, even though it doesn't result in a first down. Now on third and short. Now, one thing that I'm going to say is the Patriots did come off of a loss. So losing two straight would be crazy for the Patriots, especially against the Dolphins. 
a team who they don't lose to. I haven't seen them lose a late a lot. A lot of times I haven't seen them lost. So with lose, but with a 7-0 game right now. Miller with a nice run, cracking about four yards on the play, tackled by safety Antoine Winfield. Or Antoine Winfield. And Wallace, catch, 52 yards on the receiving end today. And a sack, four yards. I had to get something a little, I had to run away from that one a little bit more than I thought I should have, but it's okay. That's only the second sack of the day, so not too hefty in the sack department. Gibson with a kick and the first down. That's a first down. Nailed it. This is turning into quite a drive, Bill. Uh, nice job, Jim, by the offensive coordinator. Just mixing the plays up and keeping the defense. And up. intercepted. No, it was not. It barely had a spit out of bounds. That would have been an atrocious way to end the drive. Drive it, on the line drive, so that way there can't be a mistake. Going to take off with it. Working that left Incomplete. I had to throw that one away. When you are behind and the offense is driving the football against you, you got to take a chance to stop this drive. Mounting a serious drive. Third and ten. Challenging. Wallace, is that a first? Is that a first? No, it's fourth and one. And we're going to kick the ship shot field goal just to make it a two possession game against these Patriots. He falls a couple inches short. Chip shot 19 yard field goal is good. 10 0 is the score. Interception, a second interception. Tom Brady is just not having a day today. Our defense is playing well today, and I'm appreciative of my defense, the defensive play today. And that should have been past interference, but it's okay. I can deal with it. And sacked. Third sack of the day. The offensive line did a terrible job that time reacting to the blitz by the defense. They let the defenders come free and they sacked the quarterback from the shot guard. And just get that to Lamar. Lamar takes it down to the seven yard line. We don't get anything on that drive, but we can kick another field goal. Third long, not easy to pick up first downs in these types of situations. Because we do get the ball to end the half. So I'm not too worried. Or not to end the, well, we will get the ball to end the half apparently too. I'm, we get the ball to start the second half, so I'm not too worried about that side of things either. And wide open, Gibson down to the 25 yard line. And this is a beautiful way to start this game against the Patriots. Oh my goodness, this is amazing to see. And Wallace, first down. Is that first? Yes, it is. But an injury on the play. Someone's been injured out there. Hold on a minute. Oh, Wallace. Just that injury is going to suck. Miller, no. No yards. What Negative one, actually. And you can see how they fared in the red zone at this point, which is brought to you by Verizon. Moore's lined up now as a slot receiver. Looking for an open receiver. Caught! Touchdown! Oh, Dolphins! Gibson with the score! Or was it Moore? Actually, we'll find out here in a second. It was Moore with the score. 20 to nothing. And Bill Belichick not seeing the light of day today as his team is not scoring against a Dolphins team who is two and four. The only difference is his defense is getting sacks. It's the fourth sack of the day now, but that is it. He is not getting anything else other than sacks to pride himself upon, which does not help because another defensive breakdown and Matthews 
takes it for 30 yards. No interceptions, and this is the this is the Jaron Wright we're used to seeing. No, very rarely will he throw an interception. This is the Jaron Wright that we wanted to see. And Miller will go down to the 46, or yeah, to the 46, four-yard game. And sacked. So third down and 15 now. It's okay. That sack sucks, but we can we can handle it. Cause Mike Wallace is back on the field now, and we're down to the 36 yard line. Tom Brady's thrown one pick, so something else happened besides the pick. But one pick, well, we lead Tom Brady in every single stat, every single QB stat. We lead Tom Brady in. We're beating Tom Brady in every single aspect of the game today. So that's a beautiful thing to see as we are in field goal range trying to make it a three possession game. So, well, it is a three possession game. Trying to make it a four possession game. And sacked. Another sack. I know a lot of people are going to be surprised by this, but when you take those blindside hits, we're going to try and get some chip yards here so we can help our field goal kicker out. No, we didn't end up getting it. 39 yard line, and we are going to have to go for this one. I don't trust our field goal kicker to get this the yardage. So it's third and four, the fourth and 13. And on fourth down, it's going to be a sack. Kind of went into the dead zone, and they got a field goal now. They still have not gotten very much in the way of offense, though, which is interesting, especially for a Patriots team like they are. Obviously, they're the Patriots. And caught by Hartline for 13 yards. Oh, no. Oh no, Wallace with the catch! Oh my gosh, six catches, 117 yards today. Miller with a four-yard game. And that's the end of the third quarter, and we are up 20 to three. three. And with a 20 to three lead over these Patriots, I feel good. Jaron Wright obviously feels good. If he beats the Patriots, then there's actually more challenge in the division. And another sack, though. He just can't start getting sacked, and that's an issue. And, oh! And we're going to have to go for it. Because we're on the 42. We could flip fields, but going for it is probably the better option. And intercepted by Dante Hightower. First interception of the game. But there is a flag on the play. What is it? Oh, my. Mike Wallace, a 15-yard face mask penalty, will pin them in good range, and they got the touchdown, 20-10. to 10. And three-yard gain, Antoine Winfield. And he's had to make up, come up and make a couple tackles for his team today. Caught Keller first down. Three minutes, four minutes left in this game. And another catch, Hartline down to the 49 yard line. And this is a good game if you're talking about for the Dolphins. Bad game, momentum-wise, if you're talking about the Patriots, though. Losing to the Dolphins in Gillette Stadium right now. 
Obviously, this game is not over, so I'm not going to qualify this game as over. But with only three minutes to go, with less than three minutes to go, and it being 20 to 10, it's getting a little bit harder to win and get two possessions out. And Miller will get the first down. Lamar Miller, 10 rushes, only 29 yards, but he has his 10 carries for the day. And they're going to take it with a run from Miller to the two-minute warning. And we are down to two minutes left. And the Dolphins up still, 20 to 10, and a throw, Gibson catch, first down, takes it down to the 20 yard line, Nine, actually the 19 yard line, the Dolphins, that should secure the victory today. The Dolphins will take down the Patriots, we don't know the final score, but the Dolphins will take down the Patriots. That does not happen very often at all, the Dolphins being able to take out the Patriots. Set down the 25-yard line. And a timeout for the Patriots. Third and 16, they're going to have to go for a longer play. But if he doesn't find anything, just to take the sack. He finds Keller, and Keller will get down and get the first. The first down has been obtained by the Dolphins. And throw, Gibson, catch for four yards on that play. What a nice job by the offensive coordinator keeping the defense off balance. They have a lead, and look at this drive. It's been outstanding so far. Marching down the field and taking their time. Jared Wright. Whoa! Touchdown! A run in for the score. Jared Wright. He gets it for the touchdown. Oh my goodness. 27 to 10. And the, they still get the ball back. And they are. This is the Dolphins team who does not like to knee the ball. They want to rub it in to these to these Patriots, showing the Patriots, hey, we are not a bad team at all. We can beat you guys in any way that we can. As they are going to probably get into field goal range. Miller's right up now as the running back behind the quarterback. Now first and ten. Play action. Actually, no. That was a bad decision as I keep to leave. We'll get it down to the... That was a terrible decision. 17 to set 27. And they should not have done that. They're just going to take a knee, respect the Patriots, and say, I'm sorry, we won. And the game is over. And the Dolphins, a team that you wouldn't have expected to win, actually took this one. This one gives you that little confidence, makes next week a lot easier to deal with. And a team that has not gotten very many wins lately, and now is 3-4 and four on their day in the record books, holding this game, the Patriots will lose at home. They don't do that very often. And Jaron Wright, one touchdown, two interceptions, that last play kind of sucked. But the play of the game was the throw for the touchdown. His touchdown catch to Moore. Great throw, great everything. That was an amazing momentum shift, making it 20 to 0. The takeaways, it would have been tied without that interception. But we had possession for 26 minutes, is what that said. Really? Our defense stepped it up. Our defense really did. We did great today. And, well, we're going to. I cap this game off, and we'll see you guys next time against whoever we play against. But the Dolphins now, 3-4, and four, and this is the beautiful thing is we can come back now in this division. We just beat the Patriots. I think we just helped, if the Bills won, we helped them out to become first in the division because they did beat us, so then the tiebreaker goes to them. So who won? Did the Bills win? Or did the Bills have a bye week? We'll find out here in a second. But the Patriots have now lost two games straight. 
and our division has just gotten a little bit more interesting. So we'll find out. The Bills did win, and the Bills actually have first in the division, not the Patriots. Unless Bills beat the Patriots somewhere, or the Patriots beat the Bills somewhere, that's the tiebreaker over it. But next week, it's the Bengals going against the Dolphins. See you guys then. Hopefully the Dolphins will even out their record.